Hello and welcome to my video all about how to sew a French seam. This kind of seam requires a little bit of extra effort, but it creates a much nicer appearance on the inside of sewn items. It's just a bit more attention to detail that can make your project feel higher quality. The basic concept is that you sew the seam twice in order to neatly conceal any raw edges from view on the wrong side of the fabric. So basically it's a seam that looks neat on both sides. I would recommend that you test this technique first on a scrap of your fabric to see if it'll work well, as it might look too messy or bulky on a heavyweight fabric or on a fabric that can't easily be pressed. Fine and delicate fabrics are usually a good choice for this kind of finish. And one more thing to note is that you really want to only do this technique on a straight seam. Okay, so the first step is to place the fabric pieces wrong sides together, which is the opposite of what you would normally do when you create a seam. Then use pins to keep these fabric pieces in position. Note that you'll need to work out how much seam allowance you need before you begin, so that you'll end up with the seams where you want them. And I'll be talking a bit more about that later on. So in this example, I sewed half an inch from the edge. You'll need to use a straight stitch to do this and an appropriate needle and stitch length for your fabric. I used a contrast thread so you could see it clearly, but you would use a matching thread. I then trimmed this seam allowance down by a quarter of an inch and this left me with a quarter of an inch of fabric between the sewn line and the edge. I'll talk a bit more about this trimming stage later on and whether or not it's vital for you to do. Next, you just need to open the fabric out and use an iron to press the seam allowance to one side. Pressing is an important step as it'll make the finished result a lot neater. And this is what your seam should now look like. Next, fold the fabric pieces right sides together and press the seamed edge with your iron. As you can see, I now have nice crisp folds. Pin the fabric in place and then sew the final line of stitching. This line needs to be a quarter of an inch further in from the edge than the raw edges. So since we have a quarter of an inch of raw edges, we now sew half an inch from the edge. Then open the fabric out again and press the seam allowance to one side. And that's it, the French seam is now complete. This is a half inch seam, and in order to make it, we used one inch of fabric. So in other words, in order to make this exact same seam, you would need to add one inch of seam allowance to both fabric pieces. Now I'm just going to make this same seam, but without the trimming step. And at the end of the video, I'm going to go through the reasons why you might want to include the trimming step or miss it out. So again, you put the wrong sides of the fabric pieces together and pin them in place. Then sew with a straight stitch a quarter of an inch from the edge. Remember, you can use the markings on your sewing machine for guidance. So in the previous method, we sewed half an inch from the edge and then trimmed the seam allowance down to quarter of an inch. Whereas in this method, we're missing out the trimming step and we're going straight to using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then all the rest of the steps are exactly the same as method one. So open out the fabric and press the seam allowance to one side. Then fold the fabric right sides together and press the seam again. Pin the fabric pieces in place and sew half an inch from the edge. And lastly, open the fabric out and press the seam allowance to one side. 
And there we go, this French seam is complete. As you can see, this method created exactly the same seam as method 1 did. The only difference is that this method didn't require trimming off a quarter of an inch of fabric. So where you would need to add one inch of seam allowance for method one, you would only need to add three quarters of an inch of seam allowance for method two. So you might wonder why bother trimming the fabric at all? Well, there's a couple of general reasons. One is that trimming also gets rid of any stray fibers sticking out of the raw edge, so it's ready for the next step. And two, trimming after sewing means you have a bit of leeway if your sewn line is not 100% accurate. But the main reason you might want to trim your fabric is if you're using a narrower seam allowance. So in these examples, I used a half an inch seam allowance, which is not particularly narrow. But what if I wanted to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance? In that case, I would need to sew an eighth of an inch away from the edge in the first step. And this might not be very easy depending on the fabric and how confident you are at sewing. So I would personally include the trimming step if I was making a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but if I was making a half inch seam allowance, like the examples I used today, then I would miss out the trimming stage. But really, it's personal choice. The result is the same. And that's it. That's how you sew a French seam. I really hope you found that useful and thank you very much for watching.